Hello, Spurs fans. Again, this is a very, very rough uh, game. Uh, again, everything was going so well. Uh, and then kind of missed a few chances. But again, we just came out flat and fell apart in that second half. And again, I, I think there's definitely a lot of blame to the players. Uh, but again, I think... We're, we're seeing more shortcomings of Ange as a manager. And at this point, I, I think I'm back on Ange out I, I, again. We're, we're seeing a lot of the same issues in terms of players not coming out in the right mindset or kind of dropping off drastically. But Ange persisting. And again, you can kind of see the initial lack of intensity, the, the drop-off, and kind of that momentum shift. But once the momentum shifts, we don't make any changes. We don't do anything to try and regain that momentum. And again, it's kind of the same mistakes over and over and over again. Well... Again, I'll commend Ange uh, last game for putting faith in the youngsters. He's still being let down by some of the same players. Werner, again, overcooking passes, missing some chances kind of in that first half that a more competent winger would have put away and again, Werner's a mixed bag. I think you had to start him this game because Mikey Moore played 90-plus minutes on Thursday and is a 17-year-old kid. So he couldn't start this game. But in that 60th minute, as things were starting to slip away, Werner wasn't offering anything going forward or on defense you could have given 30 minutes to Mikey Moore. Udogi didn't seem fully fit at, at a certain point. You probably should have brought Spence on to sure up that left side where we were conceding most of the chances from. Uh, and again, I mean, that midfield just dropped off. Uh, I think Basuma was awful coming in he's been okay as a sub so I don't specifically question that I, I, I don't think it was an unreasonable uh, attempt but it, it definitely turned out to be the wrong choice uh, maybe next time he looks at Gray but I mean that's the frustration is that we're, we're not proactive when things start to go wrong after that first goal, you, you could tell the intensity wasn't really there, and that would have been a great time to make a change or two and, and really pick that intensity up. So, again, Hanch really needs to address this as his top priority. But, again, I think he's just a little out of his depth. He did well at previous levels, but frequently, by some of the better performing teams, he is losing the battle in terms of the game management and the momentum. Uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, I guess we kind of have to sit on this over the international break, and hopefully Ange can get something more out of this team, but it's hard to be anything other than Ange out. Uh, I'm trying to be as patient as possible, but it feels like we're struggling through the same problems, and I, I just don't see him fixing them uh, in in the short term. Uh, so I, I don't know who you bring in, and you might have to stick with him for a little bit, but Ange is not at a caliber to win the Prem even if you put him in charge of that Liverpool or Man City team. Uh, 
Yeah. Come on, you Spurs.